my work shed. A secure locker for special goodies. It's locked. Forget where I put the key. No power means no moisture extraction, and that means no moisture credits. The turbine powers the moisture extractors. Pressing the button does nothing. Pressing the button does nothing. I should use it with something. Busy, otherwise I'd be tempted to fire up a classic. This is as close as I'm getting to that thing. Turbine breaker trip right back off again. A moisture extractor. Farming moisture from a desert. Makes sense. A moisture extractor. Why couldn't it extract gold? The turbine. The workhorse of the farm. Powers everything. Got it. Nah. Nah. The breaker won't stay on. Must be a short. Won't work. No point. Nah. Won't work. point. Nah. Nah. Won't work. No point. No time for rest. I got work to do. Better check the shed. Pressing the button does nothing. Pressing the button does nothing. The power switch for the turbine. Nah. Won't work. No power means no moisture extraction, and that means no moisture credits. The turbine powers the moisture extractors.
point. My sawzall. Nah. My locker key. Not much else in there. I travel light. Won't work. Those items don't combine. No point. Nah. A moisture extractor. Why couldn't it extract gold? Won't work. No point. Nah. Won't work. No point. Nah. Nah. It's locked. Forget where I put the key. It's unlocked. My revolver. Much as I may want to shoot the thing, my wife would never forgive me. Won't work. No point. Nah. Won't work. Just a small revolver. We don't get much trouble out here. It's a key to my locker. My sawzall guts nearly anything. No point. Nah. Won't work. Turbine breaker is reset and staying put. Should be fine. Pressing a button does nothing. The generator is back online and generating power. The turbine is back online and generating power. Finally, my work day is over. Time to relax. Hello, Father. Time for chess. See you inside. Okay. Father and son were once again at chess. The former, who tried his best to be competitive and now employed radical strategies out of desperation, was always beaten by the latter. Ha! Huh. Checkmate! I win again! <sighs> Is this even fun for you anymore? Never mind, dear. Perhaps you'll win the next one. Your friend Wells will be here soon. If he shows. That's the problem living way out here at the ass end of space. 
Mr. White's old friend Wells enters the house, and they all gather round for galactic tales from the old space trader. How long have we known one another? It's been 30 years. You headed off as a galactic trader, and I set up as a moisture farmer. Wow, a galactic trader. I should like to travel the galaxy myself someday. Better where you are now. To see the rings of Antares and the moons of Corellia. Anything but this dusty old rock, right? What was it you started telling me the other day? Something about a monkey's paw. Nothing, leastwise nothing worth hearing. Monkey's paw? Well, it's just a bit of what you might call magic. Perhaps I could do with a drink. Nah, a whiskey bottle. Got it. Coming right up. Thank you. This will hit the spot. Now, where were we? To look at it, it's just an ordinary little mummified paw. Ghastly. Who would want such a thing? I don't know, Mother. It's kind of neat. What's so special about it? First off, it's from old Earth, somewhere in India. So it's hundreds of years old. Story goes that an old fakir put a spell on it. Yes, please go on. The Fakir wanted to show that fate ruled people's lives, and those that interfered risked consequences. So, what was the spell? The Fakir cast a spell, granting three wishes to anyone who possessed the paw. You really believe it grants wishes? Wells, did you use the paw? Were your wishes granted? I did, and... My wishes were granted. And has anyone else used the paw? A man prior to me had his three wishes, yes. I don't know what the first two were, but the third was for death. That's how I got the paw. I need another drink. Got it. Coming right up. Dulls the memories of this nasty business. Now, where were we? If you've had your wishes, why do you keep it? Fancy, I suppose. I don't know. If you could have more wishes, would you? I don't know. I just don't know. After a few moments of silent reflection, Wells takes the paw and flings it across the room. Damn thing should be destroyed and thrown in the trash. If you don't want it, give it to me. I won't. I intend to destroy it. If you don't want it, give it to me. I won't. I intend to destroy it. Got it. I threw it away. If you keep it, don't blame me for what happens. How do you do it? How does it work? You just hold it and use it and make a wish aloud, but I warn you of the consequences. You think you might wish me an extra pair of hands? Working this farm is hard work. Or a job promotion for me? Damned fools. If you must wish, wish for something sensible. With that, Wells said his goodbyes and once again cautioned his friend to destroy the paw as he left the house. What will you wish for, Father? Yes, what will you wish for? I don't know what to wish for, and that's a fact. Won't work. No point. What would you wish for? Me? I'd wish to be famous. And rich. I don't know what to wish for, and that's a fact. Anything else? What if you paid off the farm? You'd be happy then? Hmm. What do you think? Father, wish to be Star System Chancellor to begin with. Then you have all the power you ever need. I have all the power I need or want. What should I wish for? You could wish for an end to the drought. Maybe, but the company would just find another way to make us earn money for them. 
Suggestions? How much is left on the farm? It's not a lot, is it? About 200 water credits. Not much. Couple seasons. I don't know what to wish for, and that's a fact. It seems to me I've got all I want. But I've made a decision. Tell us! Yes. What will you wish for? I wish for 200 water credits. Ah! It moved, as I wished it twisted in my hands like a snake. Well, I don't see any money. How anticlimactic. Never mind, no harm done. But it gave me a shock. Well, dear, I'm off to bed. Me too. Good night. The next morning, they sat around the breakfast table and joked about the tales of old space traders. They felt a little silly, but had an entertaining evening. Herbert left for work, and Mr. and Mrs. White had a rare afternoon away from the labor of the moisture farm. That thing moved in my hand. I'll swear to it. You thought it did. We all got a little carried away in the moment. What's the matter? There's a strange man outside. Looks like a company uniform. Let's see what he wants. Probably here to complain about quotas again. I was asked to call. I come from Moore and Megan's. Is anything the matter? Has anything happened to Herbert? Let's not jump to conclusions. I'm sorry. Is he hurt? Badly hurt, but he is not in any pain. Oh, thank God. What happened? He was caught in the machinery. Oh, God. No. Caught in the machinery. Yes. What now? The company wished me to convey their sincere sympathy with you for your great loss. I beg that you will understand that I am only their servant and merely obeying orders. Orders? What orders? I was to say that Ma and Megan's disclaim all responsibility. They admit no liability, but in consideration of your son's services, they wish me to present you with a certain sum as compensation. How much? Two hundred water credits. Oh my god! Two hundred? Two hundred. In a company cemetery two miles distant, Mr. and Mrs. White buried their only son. As the days passed, with hardly a word exchanged, denial led to acceptance and finally dull resignation. Aren't you cold? It's colder for my son. It was a nice funeral. He's gone, and in the ground. It was an accident. The paw. The monkey's paw. Where is it? What's the matter? The paw. I want it. What are you talking about? I only just thought of it. Why didn't I think of it before? Think of what? The other two wishes. We've only had one. Was that not enough? Go get the paw and wish our boy alive again. Good God, you're mad. Get it. My boy, my boy, my boy. I will not. You will. You have to. We had the first wish granted. It will work. It's been a week. I couldn't tell you this before, but I saw Herbert before the funeral. The machinery. You wouldn't recognize him. I'm his mother. Do you think I fear the child I nursed? Get the paw. Get it now. Got it. Wish. This is foolish. Wish. Nah. I wish our son alive again. Ugh. Time passed in silence, with the two just standing there. The old man relieved nothing had happened. The old woman looking hopefully out the window. 
What's that? It's the wind. Sandstorm kicking in. It's Herbert. It's Herbert! For God's sake, don't let it in. I'm coming, Herbert. The door book. It's Jem. I'm coming, Herbert. Stop. It's not Herbert. Open this door, damn it! Stop! It's not Herbert. Help me open this door, damn it! Stop! It's not Herbert. Door. Stop. Ah. Help me open this door, damn it. Stop. It's not Herbert. Got it. The door booked. It's Jam. I'm coming, Herbert. Stop. It's not Herbert. I wish our son were dead again. Herbert? Herbert? There's nobody there. Altair 4, a planet 17 light years from Earth, containing one Mr. and Mrs. White, who tempted fate and made light of consequences, and in the process learned a terrible lesson. A lesson that is universal and spans the universe. Tonight, Mr. and Mrs. White learned the most terrible lesson of all. Be careful what you wish for.